Hi everyone, happy Friday. I'm here in Lewiston, Maine, where we're having the honor and the privilege of serving this community with the love and the comfort of Jesus. You know, one of the things is I hear stories and hear from families who are hurting and struggling. The pain is so deep and oftentimes it can be overwhelming. Perhaps you're in a spot like that right now where maybe you've just received news that is overwhelming. And perhaps maybe it comes from some evil act. You know, Romans 12, 21 says this, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. There's really a great response to evil, and that is, is to continue to step forward with goodness. That's goodness in terms of being kind and gentle and forgiving and gracious to those around us. And I want to encourage you this weekend as an act of following Jesus that you demonstrate that to others. It's not always easy, especially when so many times even our own selfish, sinful flesh wants to retaliate. But there's a better way. Don't be overcome with evil, but instead overcome evil with good. Would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you very much that you set for us an example of not being overcome by evil, but overcoming evil with good. And that good is something that we watched as we saw you go to the cross. And you took our evil actions there and you paid the price for them. And now what you give to us is you give to us your goodness. You also not only set that as an example, but Lord, that's who you are. You are good. And you give to us your goodness now to be able to share with others who we come into contact with. And so this weekend, Lord, would you help us to continue to be a part of overcoming the evil in this world by doing good. Open up opportunities for us with a kind word, with a kind action, a word of forgiveness, a word where we actually share who you are and the grace that you've shown to us. May it be so this weekend for all of us as we go in and celebrate who you are by living it out loud. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.